Welcome from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now and on the hill in this one Kodai Senga Chris he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there well incredible mound presence and he's going to attack hitters look at that strikeout for nine ratio over 10 coming into this start so he's a pitcher that wants the ball he's aggressive he knows that he can get the swing and miss especially when he needs it most we'll see how effective he is in this one Kyle Schwarber at the plate now that's ball one. Next offering is fouled back. One one now. Eight, he goes down looking. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Here's Trey Turner. And he drops it down the third baseline. Tosses to first. Oh. Turner is out. Batting third. The designated hitter. Bryce Harper. And now here is Harper. Another solid power season. Oh. First pitch, and he just misses. Foul ball there. And the right hater deals. Up the middle. On to first. And the inning is over. Down quickly go the Phillies. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. Back here in Queens and on the hill for the Phillies Zach Wheeler singing he's managed to rack up a lot of innings on the mound this season and hey, boom this guy's getting close to 200 innings on the year you know there's some milestones that pitchers go after one of them 20 wins but another one that we don't talk about a whole lot is that 200 inning threshold to More be able that. to surpass that no says that hey they prepared themselves right for the there. season they were able to stay healthy yeah, and they were able to pitch effectively enough to stay in ball games long enough to reach that number pretty impressive on what he's done and it's not over yet swing and a ball hit out towards left center field Kate makes a nice running catch batting second the second baseman, Ronnie, Ronnie Mauricio now. Mauricio. Chris Zach Wheeler's turned into one of the best pitchers in the National League, if not all of baseball. He's been an all-star. In 2021, he finished runner-up in the National League Cy Young Award race to Corbin Burns. He's got oh, nasty down. stuff. That's a strike. Oh, a two now. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. The 0-2. And now Good one time. and two. Bows it off, still one and two. 
A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. And the one two misses to even the count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Oh, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. And the 1-0. Yeah, that's too high. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice that's miss cool. right there. Pitch misses. All three. through there for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. And he walked him. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. So two down, Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Oh and one. Kicks and fires. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate, and the runner holds. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swing and a base hit. I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. First and second, two down. DJ Stewart up now for the Mets. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Line drive. Adam in center field. An inning of the books. No score here on the show. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. Senga back to work. Lifted in the air right center field. Ortega as he glides to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. And now it is JT Real Muto. Pitch misses. One and oh. And 
fires in a fastball at 95. No score here in the second. Check swing didn't go. Two and one. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Swings and he pops it up near the pitcher's mound. And Real Muto is out. And there are two down. The right fielder, number eight. Nick Castellanos yeah. at the plate now. Castellanos. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Nope. All one, no strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Nice that ball misses. Ball. ball two. And that ball one three. off the outside edge. The right-hander gives nope. up the two-out walk. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. Right, but he's exactly. still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal go. with the bottom of this order. So, so. Senga with a move to first. And he dives back in safely. And the batter now, Edmundo Sosa. This to center field. Ortega moving under this one. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Philly strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at City Field. Bottom of the second. Here's the third baseman, the third Brett Beatty. Right-hander back to work. Swings through that one for strike one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And the 2 Baden checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And he held up. The wind of the pitch. Got it by him for the K. Well, we see it a lot more these days than we ever did when I played. But a the slider in the me. 90s still catches your attention. Even if you're sitting on the pitch. Good luck recognizing that tight spin and adjusting to the late break. And now it's Mark Vientos. First pitch, not close. Wheeler, he's become known as a guy that's really tough to take deep. And that is especially valuable today, Chris, when the ball's going out of the ballpark so much. Line and a base hit into right. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Rafael Ortega stands in. It's very important. It's all about run prevention, right? So uh, when you have that, it's a plus. But if you are going to give up the long ball, you want the bases to be empty. And that's where control and command really comes into play for a guy like this. 
pitch misses inside and that is ball one. In the air right field. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. Off the bat I thought they were going to score their first run of the game and that feels like a tough break but Look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate. And now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position. So they'd love another base hit right here. Omar Narvaez at the plate. Oh. Off the mark there. Ball one. Let's get a hit. Righty to the plate. Checks his swing, now would appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. Left hand hitter waits. Swings through that. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. The one two. Hard hit to right center. That one hops against the fence. In comes the run from second. It's two zip. In there. That's a double. This confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You have good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Flied out his first time. That one misses, and that's ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. That's off the mark. Now 2 and 0. Oh. Appears they're working oh, no. around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2 0 -oh counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. The pitch. That's a ball. Righty delivers and a four pitch walk. Bell just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And next for the Mets, Ronnie Mauricio. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. the outside corner strike one there was a high velocity fastball in the zone I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter he's got good stuff pitch inside the zone and trust it and it's one, one and one, one. Swings through that one. one ball, Spin rates outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. That misses and the count is two and two. Two on, one out. That one misses. Three and two down. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And here it comes. And that'll load the bases. 
Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. So the bases are loaded here. One man gone. Pete Alonzo up now for the Mets. Strike of the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Base is loaded. One away. And that's outside. And 1 and 1. Gets him to chase after that one. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. Strike three. Got him swinging. Huge strike out there. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. Here's Francisco Lindor. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. And the righty deals. Misses with the 2-0. And he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. There's the strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Two outs, bases are full. Swings and misses, struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three, but they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double, and it's two zip. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Here's Jake Cave now. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And the pitch. There's the strike at the knees. Rips one to right, and it goes just foul. Oh, and two now, and that just misses. It's a good take. Next offering misses, and the count is even two and two. And a pitch. And now it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three. And down on strikes he goes. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Here's Christian Pache. That one's in there. That's strike one.
And the pitch. Strike on the outside. And it's 0-2. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. And he deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Make quick work of him right there, Siggy. I know that's the kind of at bat maybe leaves a lot of fans wondering, what was he doing up there, right? Yeah, and I get that. I mean, you take two straight strikes, then chase one way out of the zone. It's it's just not a good at bat. It'll leave you shaking your head as a hitter, if not worse. But there's always going to be those trips to the plate where you're just lost up there, and that was one of them for sure. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Misses outside, and it's 1-0. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, strike one. And delivers outside. That misses the zone. Three and one now. Trey Turner next to bat for Philadelphia. The 3-1. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that's a really good take right there. And that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Turner in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. pitch that's in there in the count one and two cuts on it and misses that's a strikeout nasty fourth ball for strike three one left for Philadelphia they trail it here two nothing As we go to the last of the third. And now the right fielder, DJ Stewart. Wheeler back to work. And ball one to the right fielder. Well, these Mets showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Another ball. And the 3-0 finds his own. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. And that one is out of here. He leaves the yard to right, and they add a run. It's 3-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. If that was very patient, and it paid off. And stepping in for New York, Brett Beatty. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. The 0 1. Good eye right there. Right. 
Sinker catches the zone at the knees. Here's a one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next That's one misses. Two. two and two. Hey. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball no, right man. there. And I don't think First he was base, taking man. it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. Yeah, I just think go. he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. On, Vientos oh. takes low second trip to the plate in this one. Now it's even up. And that one lifted in the air center field. Pache ranging after it. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's two away. Now batting. The center fielder. Two outs, bases Rafael. empty. And now the center fielder, oh, Rafael Ortega. Ortega. One for one with a double and a run scored. Swing and a foul straight back. Strike two. And down on strikes. Inning over. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. It's now 3-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Queens, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Bryce Harper. Harper. The pitch. And ball one. Chris Bryce Harper would be one of the guys considered a face of baseball. He was also a face on the cover of MLB The Show back in 2019. Line drive. Gets down. Base hit. Now about it. Maybe a little out front of the pitch right there, but he squared it up pretty good, and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Alec Bohm. And the, the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. Not a bigger or better game than that, and kids love playing it. I, I like playing it after we finish here. Yeah, I like the announcers. Runner at first with no outs here. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Check on the runner. Harper's oh, back in a dive. The 1 1. Foul ball. Nobody out. Runner at first. Stays alive. Let's go, Matt. Next offering is fouled back. And a one two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One out. And up to the plate okay. is JT Real Muto. First time JT up was a pop out. Real 
foul back our way and that's out of play. The 0 one. Nope. Just oh, missed. One and one. Swing it a foul straight back. Swing and a ball popped up. On a second, they get one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And there's the strike. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Real Muto runs. Pitch misses in. Tag. See. Too late with a throw from Omar Narvaez. Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. Runner at second, two down. Steel, runner. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Strike in there. Out at third. And that ends the inning. When you get thrown out at third with two outs, you kind of want to keep on running. Not a great decision there as it ends the inning. Back here at the ballpark. And now the catcher comes up to him. Omar Narvaez. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. And he takes a strike. Oh, and two. Gets a piece, and it stays is inside the punch out there and one gone back to the top of the lineup so up next for New York Brandon Nimmo Wings and crushes one right field way back and gone. He made him pay for that one. Homer number 25 of the year. It's 4 0. see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing one out base is empty and next for the Mets Ronnie Mauricio check swing went around and it's 0-1 And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. That one just misses, and the count is one and two. Two strikes.
fights it off, he'll see another. Ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Man at first. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Kicks and fires. Late that time, and it's strike two. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Number 54 is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Number 50, a hard-throwing right-hander up as well. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Well, oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And a foul ball. Now the 0-1. There's the strike. Next pitch is outside. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. And the right-hander deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. Wheeler with the throw over, and he's back in safely. Next pitch has popped up. Sosa has a beat on it. He's got it. And that is out number three. The Mets add one to their lead on this solo shot. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Now it's the Keep right it fielder, the Nick Castellanos. The right fielder, number eight, Nick Castellanos. Come on, Nick. And the pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, these Phillies, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at-bats, and that's fine if you're having a lot of success, but at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. Kicks and deals. And one, one and two. O2 two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off-speed's probably coming. Next pitch just misses. The count down two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the four count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really Edmundo nice plate appearance. Sosa. So, man aboard, Edmundo Sosa, the next to hit. All right, 
in there for strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. The 0-2. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held back according to Ricky Holiday. The one two. Slides, but it gets by him. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Now, Jake Cave. And there's a ball. Next one is off the play, and it's 2-0. Oh. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two and oh to Cal. Here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. And a two one on the way. And that's outside. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start. First and second here, no outs. Lifted in the air, out to left. And it's caught for the out. The center fielder, number five, Christian Conte. Christian Pache stands in for the Phillies. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Squares to bunt, but that rolls foul. At the belt and fires. And a sack bunt here to first and that's an out on the sacrifice so digging in Kyle Schwarber he's not going to get cheated up there no he's not he's looking to do damage with every swing he takes just missed second and third two down Hard hit, right side. Vientos whips it to first. And that is that. Phillies leave a couple. They trail it here, 4 nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And stepping in for New York, DJ Stewart. DJ Stewart. The wind of the pitch. And downstairs. That one missed. There's a strike, and it's two and one. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. That one in for a strike, two and two. Here comes a pitch. And now it's three and two. Wind in the pitch. That's to third. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. 
Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Brett Beatty up now for the Mets. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That's in for a strike. And that skips in the dirt. Here's a 1 1. And a strike in there. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Vientos, the next to hit, takes outside. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Boom. Brings it in for the third out. Mets go down quickly, but they lead it four to nothing. set for the top of the six and stepping in is the speedy Trey Turner Senga back to work there's a strike it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today good fastball excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there smash to the left side Fires over to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Bryce Harper to the plate. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch. And when he was in his prime, you would see... A lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Righty to the plate. Ripped into right field, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. One gone runner at first. Now here is Alec Bohm. Called strike right there. The next offering misses. And now it's even one and one. Righty delivers. And a count one and two. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The one two gets a piece there. We'll do it again. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. 
Out towards right center field. Can't glove it cleanly. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Now let's see if they can string something together, make it a little more interesting. JT Real Muto steps in. And first offering is fouled off. That misses oh, off the outside edge. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. That one oh, inside, it. and it's two and one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Rolled to short, possible two ball. They get one, double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. So no runs, two hits, no errors, and one left. Eight, nine, one scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Mets four and the Phillies nothing. Back down for the bottom of the six, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, number 54. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Here's the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. The center fielder, Rafael Ortega. And here it comes. That one inside, ball one. In there at the knees. Well, a good slider from an opposite-handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it up. And right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. Here's a one-two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Next offering down in the dirt. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Narvaez batting with one down takes a strike well he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there couldn't pull the trigger and perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit slice the other way that's a base hit everything came together for him anytime you rip a line drive the other way you feel really good about what you did at the plate you trusted your hands you let the ball travel and you took the barrel okay, straight to it that's great work no right there fielder. here's the Mets brandon. leadoff man brandon nimmo he's already homered here in this one And first offering is fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Strike two. Real ugly 0 1 swing right there. As a pitcher, got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Next offering way upstairs. Come on, 
In the air, left field, down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That right there is one of those breaking balls that you swing through and you feel like you should have done no something Number with 10. it or at least spoiled Second it away. Three, but when it's breaking in on you like that, if the spin is tight Number enough, it can actually zero. tie you up. Come on, New York. Mauricio oh, stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Next oh, offering is down low. And that's ball two. The pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended. Tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Gets a piece and stays alive. Next pitch is downstairs. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. That's ripped. Base hit. Well, that worked out as good as it could have. We mentioned the RBI opportunity with the runner moving on the 3-2 pitch, and he cashed in by finding a hole in the outfield. You know, that takes a little extra concentration in the box because of the movement on the base pass. Easy to get distracted, so that was a really nice job there. And that one fouled off. First and second, two down. Let's get a couple of runs. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. The Take next the pitch ball. misses. One and two to count. One ball, two straight. Stays alive. Got him swinging. Two left for the Mets, but they're in front for nothing. New inning getting started, and now the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. The pitch. That clips the corner. Stairs. One ball, two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one, two. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout.
And now the 0 1. Got the bat going no too ball, soon. It's strike two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. K at the plate and takes high there. That one pulled foul. And the righty deals. And that one hammered. Ortega going back on this one. And out of here. That one barely got out of here. It's his sixth home run of the season. And they inch closer. It's 4-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. And now the center fielder, Christian Pache. That clips the corner. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Ball that one. hits the dirt. And that is ball one. Action in the Mets bullpen. Adam Adovino, the closer, is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. In there. And so now one and two. And a pitch. That misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. In the air, center field. And that is that. But the Phils edge closer on this solo homer. It's now a 4-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. The pitch. Ball one there. Well, these Mets, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. The 1-0. And that's oh, outside. Man, man. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Just outside. And the count's full. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Bows it back with two strikes. There's a swing and a drive. Castellanos raging back towards the wall. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back. On the infield, got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Let's go one more time, baby. 
Stewart in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next pitch misses. One and one. Pop up here, third base side. Turner should have it. Brings it in. Two down. Now batting. The third baseman. Brett. Beatty. So up next for New York, Brett Beatty. There's a strike. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. No runs, no hits, no errors. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Mets four and the Phillies one. Pitcher on here, Phil Bickford. Well, he's been excellent against left handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Now, the third baseman, Kyle Schwarber. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Off the mark the there. And yeah, that's ball two. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Fought off foul. Here's a two on. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Right-handed reliever. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Here's Turner now. Come on, Let's go. In there, and it's 0-1. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Okay, and the count is 0 and 2. Next offering is foul back. Owen 2 now. Next offering is outside. The one two outside. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's two down. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Harper in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. On, and 
a foul ball. Lifted in the air down the left side. Fair ball. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Just a blue pick behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. One for three. First offering, and it just misses. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Next offering is downstairs. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Run comes in from second, and now just a two-run deficit. But when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Oh and one. Let's go, Matt. The tying run at the plate. Inside, oh, yeah. just missed. That two seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. Next oh, offering misses, two and one. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. The two one. Out to short, Lindor. They get the force, and that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 4-2. Back after this on the show. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the first baseman, Mark Vientos. The first baseman. And a pitch. That's in there. Strike one. And that's outside. And a 1-1. One -one. Outside, that's a ball. And that's downstairs and outside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Cave drifts towards it. The pitch. And that's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Man at first, Rafael Ortega will hit next. Strike on the inside corner. 0-1. 
and the pitch. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. That's out to center field. Pache makes the play, and there's one away. Now batting, the catcher, Omar Narvaez. And here's the catcher, Omar Narvaez. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. In there at the knees for a strike. And he chases that one. Now two out. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Nimmo stands in now, looks at that one inside. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Cave under it. Makes the catch. That is the inning. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Through eight full, it's the Mets four and the Phillies two. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Adam Adovino. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Nick Castellanos now at the plate. Nick Castellanos. And here it comes. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. Oh, one's the count. pitch foul ball still 0 and 2 at the belt and fires good job to fight that one off the 0 2 Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out. You get settled in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that... You know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Sosa stands in here, takes oh, ball one low. Play. And that is in for a strike. And a count one and one. Kicks and deals. Not even close there. And it's two and one. And the slider just misses. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. 
Righty delivers. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And there's ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Now a pinch hitter coming on for the Phillies. Brandon March. Runner on first and one down for him. Number 16. Brandon March. And fouled off. A one down. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They've got to go a long way as well. That one fouled off. One out, runners at first and second. Swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. He knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Next one misses. Now one and two. In the air, right side. Stewart under it. Squeezes it. Runner tags up for third, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Here's the third baseman, Kyle Schwarber. This guy with light tower power. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. strikes this is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game but they're gonna make him work to get this save runners on first and third two away Ball almost got him there. Straighten him up a little bit. Move to first. March back in standing. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. Off the plate, and that's ball three. Trey Turner to bat next. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is four. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Ball game. A 
another solid outing from him out of the bullpen. He's up to double digits now with his 10th save of the season. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. for the